I have decided to dis, uh, the the livestock production and breeding uh, technique and uh, breeding management in in this topic and uh, and uh, I will see that the, what are the projects actually those those initiatives to took by the government of India because we we just after the independence we have used uh, that the 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 uh the food grain uh, problem and also we have a very uh, the, the because of the poor that milking animals we are having in our country so that that's why the, the government of india they have they have taken so many initiatives uh, time and again uh, to to the productivity for animals and uh, and, uh, and 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 in 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 in, in this topic we'll discuss regarding the, the project and then the and the and the important that uh, those, those are the important things those those steps those were to be taken by the government of india and there are several the breeding techniques those who are being utilized uh, by 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 the by the foreign uh, foreign that uh, that veterinarians and they, they are also being being introduced over here so we have all the kind of that uh, that information in this topic and i hope that uh, that uh, through the proper discussion when will we go through that the what kind of that steps uh, the government of india has taken uh, to to uplift uh, the 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 business in, in dairy segment and that that to be discussed by the by the by the by, by by us in this topic and then after we'll discuss the the breeding that the methods and the techniques those we are, we are generally uh, using and they those who are being incorporated by the by the people of uh, our country and they they are very important and because of that we have ultimately achieved the, the 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 position of the the highest milk producer uh, of the the world yeah, that, that that is our country because right now we have a, a production of 176.3 million metric ton and which, which is highest as far as the world milk production is concerned so that that what kind of that the, the steps those the government of india has taken after the independence uh, in this topic we'll discuss them one by one and after that we will we'll, in trailing we will discuss the breeding techniques and breeding that methods those who are being utilized by the by the by the by by the by the and uh, those who are the, the improved breeding methods those who are uh, utilized by the farmers after the after the uh, after the, the 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 extension work which was done by the by the various that veterinarians and 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 the and the scientists so good morning students today we have come to discuss regarding the livestock development program in our country and this is a very crucial topic in which we will we'll discuss about the, the important program those who are launched by the central government or sometimes the state government and what was the impact of that because at when we we got independent at that time the Uh, per capita consumption of milk was very less but nowadays as uh, you know it's is uh, well above the average and recommended by the who it's on and around 322 gram per day so behind this th there is a huge and hurricane hurricane task being performed by the several agencies and uh, through this lecture we will try to learn the livestock development program and the importance of livestock development program in india and what was the finally the impact of livestock development program in india so first the program which is one of the premier program that to whom we are all knowing by the name of the operation flood before going to discussion because there are the three phases there were three phases those who are being performed in our country but before going to the discussion on operation flood i'll i'll just talk to i'll, I'll just want to talk about the initial that uh, the primary introductory part of this operation flood actually in 1965 uh, just after the war with, with pakistan lal bahadur shastri they have even even before 64 65 the shastri ji has discussed the the, the livestock development program because the the production of indigenous cow is very less it's it's it's, it's near about the Premier goat breeds. So in that case, how we can uplift the 
our 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 bill production and and, and uh, because this this is the thing which is to, totally based on the agro ag- agriculture so uh, to enhance and to uplift the uh, farmers income the government has decided to launch uh, the, the scientific that uh, the program on the, on the basis of the cooperative movement so they have uh, they have discussed with the with the, with the nowadays to whom we are calling the indian dairy man uh, vargis kurian in those days because he was just came from the usa and he basically he was a physicist but he was working in in in, in a technical plant of uh, amul dairy in 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 khera district of uh, anand khera village of anand anand so in that in that case when the shastri ji has discussed the situation with with dr vargis kurian and he had appointed him as a chairman for that national national dairy development program and nddb and that 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 on that that was the actually the premier step which was taken by shastri ji and uh, the the program was started and initially the uh, on the basis of the cooperative the program was started and the program was uh, completed their first uh, is three phases the first one was which was after the death of shastri ji the the program was started and it was started in 1969 70 1969 70 and the first, in the first phase was finalized by the sale of skim milk power and butter oil donated by the european union then the european economic community through the world food program and it be planned to program and negotiate negotiated the details of european economic committee assistance with during this phase operation flood linked 18 of indian premier milk shed with consumer in india it means nearby the metro cities that actually this this program was launched india's major metropolitan cities delhi mumbai kolkata chennai establishing mother dairies in favor in four metros operation flood it was originally meant by the completed in 1975 actually spanned the period of about 9 years from 1970 to 79 at the total cost of 116 crore the start of operation flood in 1970 certain aim was kept in view for implementation of program improving the organized dairy sector in metropolitan cities mumbai then in those days it was known as bombay kolkata then kolkata and chennai that madras and delhi through marketing increasing producer share of milk market and spreading speeding up development of dairy animals in rural area to increase both production and procurement because the, the cross breeding program was initially started in those days and that that uh, the focus was on 18 major districts and uh, ma- ma- major milk product uh, that milk sheds they are being created in the phase first then and on 116 crore rupees spent in that at particular that, that, that tenure of 9 to 10 years and then then what was the progress they passed assessed operation now the the, the the second phase was started in 1981 to 1985 increase the milk share from 18 to 136 now you see that the growth in the, in the, in the number of milk share 18 to 136 urban market expanded the most of the urban cities the outlet from milk to 290 by the end of 1985 is self sustaining as a self-sustaining system of 43000 cooperative village cooperative with 4 lakh uh, 4 crore and uh, 25 lakh milk producers were covered domestic milk producer powder production increases from 22000 tons to, in the year projected to be 1 lakh 40 thousand tons in 1989 22000 to 1 lakh 40 thousand ton in in within that five years that that was the increase increment in the in the milk powder production all of the increase coming from the dairies set up under the operation flood in this way european economic committee gift and the world bank loan help to promote self reliance direct marketing of milk by producers cooperative increased by several millions liter a day so this was the actually the activity those who are being performed in the second phase so you can see that the, the, there is a 
there is a fantastic growth being registered at both the front at the mill production and at the mill powder front and this was only because of the upliftment of the of the of the cross breeding program and through the cross breeding program the, the, the there is a there is a huge change the, the all the the mill breed those those who are very good breed they are being converted into the cross breed and now the production of uh, milk is increases like anything then the third then the third phase also which is very important that now the third phase third phase which is also almost taking almost 10 years uh, it started in 1985 to 1996 unable dairy cooperative to expand the strength and the infrastructure required to produce market increasing volume of milk veterinary first aid health care services feed and artificial insemination services for cooperative members were extended along with intensified member education operation flood third phase consolidated india's dairy cooperative into 18 adding 30000 new dairy cooperatives to 43000 existing societies organized during phase second milk milk had peaked up at 136 in second phase now 173 in 80 88 89 with the number of women members and women dairy cooperative societies increasing significantly phase third increased emphasis on research and development in animal health and animal nutrition innovation like vaccine for thaleriasis by passing protein feed and urea molasses mineral blocks all contributed to extend enhance the productivity of milk producing animals there were some distinguished feature behind the success of operation flood adopting new method in the case of cattle in animal husbandry changing composition of feed ingredient in different proportions and fixing different producer cost on the sliding scale so all these these are the these are the these are the parameters those who are being laid and they are through that this the, the through that the, the the development and the project project that uh, objectives achieved the criticism is also there although the on this third in these three phases that's why the, the, we we call it uh, the all three phases of operation flood because of that uh, we are calling the, uh, the, the 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 white revolution the the era being called as a white and nominated as a white white revolution but there are certain criticism because of that the cross breeding and other program They, they, there are certain that uh, problems they they are, they are side by side arises Criti- critics of project argued that the emphasis on imported breeds of cattle has resulted in the dissemination of indian breeds while foreign breeds give higher yield they require more feed and are not suited in indian conditions that that is a that is a major issue because that these these animals those who are of foreign foreign nature their 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 appetite is comparatively three times uh, more as compared to indian breeds so the feed requirement is more the, the pollution because the, the the ammonia production is more so these all are the things and indian breeds they are being ignored because we we are just focusing on them because of the production but when the because for cross breeding even for cross breeding we require the we require the indigenous pure breeds so that's why these in this condition uh, these the critics says that because of this reason We, we entire focus goes on on the animal production so we are just focusing on the foreign breeds but they have their own limitations because in this geo geo climatic condition of our country the the climatic condition is not suited to them so in that case they, 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 there is more attention is required for them more more emphasis is is required to be given on them on health and hygiene conditions from health management practices so all these because of these the uh, the production the, the feed requirement goes up to three times so all these things because but the milk production also goes up to 10 times so this is the, this is the economic aspect that why the the program was uh, has its own success and at present we know that uh, our country's production is on about 175.5 million ton and in those days it was just about uh, 20 30 million tons in, in when we have got the independence so the, the uh, nowadays uh, this industry is going on and on around 15 to 16% growth per year in in the production of milk uh, through maintaining all the things and uh, they, they are main managing now they few pure breed they are bad managing cross bred animals and although they are they are breeding up our indigenous cattle like gear and parparter and and cockroach these these are few breeds those who are having uh, even the sahiwal red sindhi these are few important breeds 
to whom we can say they are the milk breed of our country and we we are enhancing their their milk production and we few the cross breed animals develop like current chair and and these these these, these breeds they have also started uh, counting uh, they they also started contributing in the, the milk production of the country so now at present our our milk production uh, per capita consumption is very good as it is above well above the above the recommended by the who and it's only because of that the, the program which was launched by the by the vargis kurian and that's why we have given him the doctorate uh, the, we have we have we have given him doctorate through the ahilya bai university in endo and uh, he we was he was being nominated as a indian dairy man and and the father of white revolution also so this is all about the about the operation flood now there is another program to whom we are calling the key village scheme and intensive cattle development program these are the two program actually they they are they are just before the operation flood just after the independence we got the, there are certain key villages they are being They, they are being designated by the government of india for the development of uh, cattle population in india employing scientific method for improvement of cattle artificial insemination breeding selective select, selective breeding formulation of cooperative society for marketing the pure breed cattle development feed fodder a key village is defined as an area part of village or whole village or group of villages initially the aim was to cover 5000 breedable an animals Thousand buffalo, and later on it, it was increased up to the ten thousand. So this is the, actually the, the the key village that they they are being developed by the government initially. The key village scheme thus employed all aspect of cattle improvement for example control breeding, improved breeding, disease and health control, better management, marketing and adoption of improved animal husbandry practices in two. proper extension method kvs thus has helped greatly in developing good quality cattle in different part of the country kvs was also found kvs has also found approach for implementing program of cattle development in integrated manner but due to the vastness of the country a vast magnitude of problem the kvs were not able to make necessary impact on for immediately immediately increasing the milk production each kvs was only a at any area of well organized activity surrounded by vast area where the indiscriminated breeding was adopted this obliquely obliterated was good work of kvs in 1968 479 village blocks were functioning various state and and the villages and they covered 5 million cows and the buffaloes which was about 6.5% of total breedable female cattle of the country so this this because of these limitations actually uh, because only the 6.5% you we have because our our country is very vast so only 6.5% breedable animals they they, they are being uh, taken under consideration under key village so it means the more than 90 93 4% 93 the animals they 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 are they, the owners they, they are they are allowing the undiscriminated the, the, the breeding so the the impact was not that that much initially the work was done and it was organized well by the central government now the intensive cattle development project this was also the very good project which was initiated by the government reviewing of functioning of key village scheme it was revealed that it did not produce result according to the expectation many dairy plants which were set up during the second and third five year plan were not able to cover the capacity that this cattle development project of large dairy project so established dairy quantity of milk for processing up to their installed capacity it was emphasized to associate Each ICDP with either liquid milk plant or any milk product factory. Each ICDP was to cover one lakh breedable cow and sheep buffalo population. It means now the ten thousand to reach the puri. They they have decided that this was the assignment given to the each ICDP that each plant 
fish plan, we have to have more than one lakh uh, breedable cattle population. This target was kept to make a significant impact increase of milk production in the area. For success of the scheme, it is necessary that it is implemented at, at best location. Thus, area having good potential milk for milk production and where the appropriate response to cattle development can there where there were chosen in the chosen area the target of covering 70 percent of cattle population for breedable breeding purpose and increasing milk production by 30 percent in an area of five year was kept the government of india extended 100 percent central assistance for the project during third five year plan after implementation on comp completion of two years these projects were transferred to the plan scheme of the state government because uh, Initially, up to the up to the five five fifth five year plan, the entire that cattle and village development was addressed by the central government. But now the the animal husbandry will become the state subject so because entire agriculture becomes the state subject. So all the projects those who are being laid in the fifth year plan, they are being transferred to the states. The government of India extended hundred percent central assistance for the project during the third five year plan. After implementation, yes, they are they are being transferred to the. This change led to re reduce financial assistance from central government in some of the states due to less la allocation of fund adequate provision input and services could not be made. This, this, this is a drawback actually. Now major steps for successful, uh, the, what are the actually the steps? They have taken the control breeding was there, balance breeding was there, veterinary health care assistance was there, milk farming inputs was there, assured milk marketing, whatever being come out from the animals ultimately market is also being provided by the by the by the icdp agency so these are the few important things uh, those who are being taken under the under the custody and that the conclusion that icdp really made a good impact for increasing milk production and improving the health of dairy animals a large number of exotic cattle were imported during 1961 to 78 Around 7,500 heads of cattle of some breeds were imported by Jersey, Brown Swiss, Red Dane, Yorkshire, Guernsey, Palestinian region. Some of these exotic breeds were supplied to the state government at the same time. Government of India also developed farm to multiplying the exotic breed at at Andeshar, Andesh, Andeshar, or Uttar Pradesh and the Ashargatta Karnataka farm for Holstein were developed at. Sunabeda, Odisha, Jersey farm was established. Number of ICD developed in each five year plan. You will see that how much in the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. We know that from 19 to 134, these are the ICDPs. They are being, they are being situated in the, in the country and they are being developed in the country. So that kind of that development was taken by the, by the, by the various development programs. So key program, they are very much important. Those who have contributed by and large in, in the white revolution of the country and now we we, we are not only the, the, the worldwide we are the highest milk producing country we are now right now we are producing 175 million metric ton of milk production in in our country so this looking to all these things that uh, what what was the what was the behind again uh, behind behind the progress of this, this this kind of nature this kind of nature in the country and the, the subsidiary you know that the the, the Indian development in the, in the, in the particularly animal husbandry sector provides almost almost seven eight percent uh, population uh, the subsidiary that uh, the, the employment also and the, it, it was contributing on and around five to six percent of the of the of the, of the to, uh, total GDP and around twenty five percent of the more than twenty five percent of the GDP contributed by the agriculture it was because agriculture is on and around uh, contributing eighteen percent. So out of that 18 percent, five to six percent came from the from the animal husbandry itself. So these are the this, these are the important that program those who are being run by the by the by the government and they are very much important program.
So now the discussion is on the dual purpose breeds. There are few animals who those who are using for for milk production, and their their male is also being used in the in, in various agricultural that operations. Those who are being carried out at the farm. So these breeds, they in 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 past when we don't have that much of mechanization at at at, at grassroots level. In those days, these breeds are very much useful. But nowadays, these breeds, the because the males they they are they are they are having no use because the, now the almost the agricultural operation being carried out mechanically through tractors and various that machines those who are those who are there at the farm level. So anyway, but uh, dual purpose breeds there are number of cattle breeds in India which are dual purpose female yield more than average quantity of milk and males are good working bullocks. In this group, there are two type of breeds are there: short horn and the iron horn. Short on white or light grey cattle with long coffin shaped skull and face slightly convex in the profile like Haryana, Angol, Galloway, Rathi, Krishna Valley, etc. And iron horn, iron horn that grey cattle, deep body with wide forehead and flat dishard in the profile and good draft capacity. They are far 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 and far away. So these they are they are the two groups we have over here and uh, the doll purpose breeds they they are like that. The Haryana number one, the the main tract of this breed in Haryana state, the center of origin is on and around Rohtak, Hisar, Gurgaon district. This is the most popular dual purpose breed of Indo-Gangetic line, and it is widely spread in Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, and also in part of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. They are powerful work animal, good specimen of cow, yielded up to 5 1500 kg of milk per lactation. Then the Angol. The native of this breed is Guntur district of Andhra Pradesh. This is essentially a large muscular that breed suitable for heavy draft work. An average yield is 1,000 kg in a common in a lactation. Common that specimen have given up 1,500 kg of milk per lactation. Angol breeds are known as Nellore breeds in Brazil because they are also being exported in Brazil because of the potential genetic potential they are having in them. Then the Galloway. This breed. Closely resembles to resembles to Angol breed. These breeds are found in the Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. The animals are basically draft animal. Milk it of cow is moderate and good specimen yielding up to 1,000 kg. It means they are they are not that poor. That 1,000 it means to two to three liter per day. So they are giving the the, the milk for the family which is required. And they are the the male are also being utilized in the agricultural operation. But nowadays the 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 the, the, the utility of male is Passes away because of the mechanization. Now the fourth one breed is Krishna Valley. The home track of this breed is black earthen soil along with the Rurayam mm-hmm. Krishna and the adjoining area of the uh, Gat Prabha and Maharab Ma- Mal Prabha in Karnataka. They are also found in the certain part of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, the bullocks are massive and powerful and good draft in heavy soil. Cows are fairly at good milker. Now we have Rathi. This breed is very important because this breed is very much available in the in, in, in our state Rajasthan. This is also known as Rath Rathi breeds are mostly located in Alwa district of Rajasthan. They are also found in the around Bikaner district. They are medium size and well purpose breed, good cow yielding up to 1200 to uh, 1200 to 1400 kg milk per lactation. The bullocks are adopted moderately and heavy flying and and we 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 have. A, Use cross breeding program with 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 Rathi. We are crossing. We will find that, uh, that there are lot of cross breed animals. We will find with Rathi and and Hollis Prison and Rathi and the Jersey. So these these are the these, these are the mediocre that if the Rathi is producing 1200 liter milk and we know the Jersey is producing producing up to the 6000 to 10 12000 and Hollis Prison much more. So if we we'll have the crosses, then the the production of these cross breed animal is the one around that. 6000 to uh, 4000 to 6000 liter milk in a lactation so this this cross breed program is also being launched with with rathi yeah, and we will find that there is a huge number of animals is available of rathi and uh, the crosses of rathi and uh, the jersey then the thar parker breed is also very much popular this thar parker district in province of pakistan the animal are also known as thari this breed also found in the adjoining tracts of rajasthan state especially found in jodhpur jaisalmer we have a, we have a, we have a very big that that the breeding farm in chanman in in jaisalmer where we have a huge number of the thar parker cattle the males are good draft animal the milk field of cow 
1800 to 2600 per lactation current phase it means the holistin and 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 holistin holistin prison and the har parker the team will we have developed the breed at at ndri to whom we are calling the current breed and this breed this this breed is producing milk up to the 10 to 12 liter or even up to the 15 to 16 liter per day now we have the last uh, that uh, the, the the important breed to whom we are calling the milk breed that is carpage that the dual, dual purpose breed the home tract of this breed is south east of run of kash in gujarat from the south west corner of far parker district now in pakistan to amdavad and from disa to east adanpur in west they are fast and powerful draft cats and cows are average milker and yielding about 1400 kg per lactation in towns and less in villages so these are the few breeds to whom we are calling the dual purpose breeds now we have a breeds those who are not those who are not that much of that uh, that milk producer but they are males they are, they are very much very much used for 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 the purpose of the for the for the agricultural operation so the first one is out of that is nagpur nagori this is breed this breed is very much famous the male of this breeds are very much that, that, that they are they are they, they are the heavy heavy worker and the famous tattooing and the draft animal the bullocks are prized for their fast road work nagori breeds are found in the district of jodhpur in rajasthan this breed is supposed to have been evolved from the haryana and kaapri this this is through the character study this is being found out that the, the, the breed is evolved from the haryana and kaapri then the bachur this breed is found in the sitamarhi district of bihar it has very close similarity to haryana breed the males are well known for their fast capacity and their ability to thrive under the poor condition of the feeding the female of this breed are not good milker then the kheri guard breed this home track of this breed is kheri district of uttar pradesh kheri district of the lighter in general appearance kheri cattle are very active and good animals for light draft and trotting malvi these are found in gwalior district of madhya pradesh that the malwa malwa region and also found in in in, in andhra pradesh they are they are they are, they are good in the draft worker and the uh, female are very well uh, the poor poor milker then we will have a helicar this breed originated in for, in former princely state of vijayanagaram presently in karnataka the animal are compact muscular and medium size the breed is known for its draft capacity and especially for its trotting trotting ability it was used in the war by tibu tipu sultan for carrying cannons alikar khiladi khiladi breed closely resemble to alikar its home is the cholapur district and uh, sitapur district of parastra the animals are compact light tight khiladi bullocks are regarded as fast and powerful draft animals then we have a kangayam this breed is originated in coimbatore district of tamil nadu the animals are moderate size with a compact body the males have back or have very dark color on the on the head hump and neck patterns large number of bullocks produced in the northern tract are sold to cultivators for other parts of working on the black cotton soil then amrit mahal the the home tract of amrit mahal former princely state of mysore its breeding tract stretches from krishna basin to kaveri basin the amrit mahal breed is primarily draft animal but during early days it was known for the, its milk quality maharashtra maharaja of mysore had developed large farms called cows for developing this breed the breed animals are closely related to the halicar it means they have the resemblance with the halicar now we have a power power we breed power is found in the foothills of the himalayas the, the himalayan breeds it is small and compact with frequent white khaki on the forehead develop limbs limbs are well, well well developed they are of black and white with iron shaped horn iron shaped horn this breed is many mainly restricted to pilibhit district of uttar pradesh the bullocks do do make good draft animal cows are very poor milkers then the siri the last one breed which is 
which is uh, which is under the under the category of the draft animals the seri the main breed helicopter of darjeeling in west bengal and sikkim it is found usually in higher altitude 1000 to 400 meter above the sea level the the breed can with this a rugged mountain condition the bullocks are reputed for good draftability so these are the few breeds to whom we have discussed and i hope that we'll have a good learning out of it and in in future so good evening friends today we will we'll discuss about the a new topic that breeding process in valued livestock so this this topic actually we is of economic importance that's why we we have taken this product this, this particular topic into the line of uh, line of the livestock production and management under the under the subject ruminant production and management the the topic the uh, the objective of this topic why we have chosen this topic and what are the outcome of this particular discussion that meaning and methods of breeding we will know that what kind of that methods we are adopting in livestock and then and then what are the production traits these are two important things we we will have better understanding and clarity about this both of these things while we complete this, this our discussion so first that breeding means what breeding means production of offspring by all young ones it means when the two adults animals they to them we we produce the young ones that that process is known as breeding scientific breeding is need to together better performance in livestock meal feed and wool that etc because what these are the by product of the livestock and in that case we know that the breeding is very important so there are certain methods number one we we categorize breeding among two categories number one in breeding and second one is out breeding so in breeding from its name itself that breeding among the relatives so in, in under that uh, in breeding we have a we have a two type of that uh, that breeding is here available the close breeding and the line breeding close breeding mating of uh, related animals same breed such as brother sister mating daughter to sire mother to son this kind of mating we are managing to whom we are calling the close breeding and it this kind of breeding is having its own own consequences because of that that the lethal factor they they intensify in the coming in coming generations and then that's why the, the Uh, the 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 problematic that genes they 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 grow time and again and that create the problem so this this breeding is having its own problems that's why generally in scientifically this breeding is not not being approved and in our hindu mythology we also are well aware that this kind of breeding is not permitted in our in our society also in human being and that's why we are not following in animals but the close breeding is a clear cut that it is it's a method while we 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 breed the related animals for example brother sister or uh, mother mother son or sire or daughter like that breeding if we are doing that that breeding is known as the close breeding then we have a second one the line breeding when the mates form an ancestor it means the, the, the at least the one generation gap it will leave it means mating within cousins uncle and and niece niece uh, niece and nephew and uh, uncle like the uh, aunt like that if that kind of the development is there to whom we are calling the line breeding it means the half brother and half sister this result is in breeding the advantage what are the advantage of in breeding a pure line of particular breed can be maintained that that is that is the advantage but disadvantage is very very loss of vigor because vigorosity we, we don't have a new new blood into the in the new of spring So this is the problem. Then the size, production, fertility, all the problems, the, the lethal factor, they intensify in coming generation. Then they create so many problems, so many diseases. So the, there are there are the plenty of consequences of this thing. That's why scientifically we we don't follow this this kind of situation to whom we are calling the in breeding. Now out breeding. The second one, which is very important, mating among unrelated animals of same breed, same species. That that kind of breeding arrangement we are calling the out breeding. or four five six generations gap is there so that that kind of that situation we we are we are allowing mating among the the the, the four five six generation after in male and female so that that kind of breeding is done as out breeding under the out breeding we have out crossing mating of unrelated animal of same breed but with no common ancestor for minimum four to six generation to whom we are calling the out crossing 
then the cross breeding mating of different breeds mating of different breeds of same species mating of different breed of same species to whom we are calling the cross breeding and this cross breeding generally we know that we we are, we are, we are, we are preparing crosses in our country from the exotic breeds like jersey holstein and the ayrshire they are brown seers these are all important breeds to, to, to whom we have we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, bring their male over here and we are rearing them and we are we are crossing with our indigenous breeds so this is the meeting actually mating where the different breeds match together but of same species for example cross crossing triple crossing back crossing this kind of that situation to whom we are calling the cross hmm. crossing is a very clear that uh, when we after after uh, uh, cross in cross crossing that kind of cross breeding what we do we 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 we, we cross the offspring with the other 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 breed and then we, uh, then once again the when the offspring will come then we cross the offspring with the same breed so cross it means alternately we are using we, we are using the breed for example if we you if we are doing crosses of that uh, jersey and uh, and and rathi suppose if we are crossing these two breeds then in in the second second generation we we use jersey and in third generation we use rathi or like that it means cross crossing we are allowing one after another so that kind of that arrangement breeding process which we follow whom we are calling it cross crossing triple crossing we are using here three breeds and simultaneously we are crossing them we are we are using them and that kind of that situation is calling called as triple crossing and back crossing why we we We, we 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 cross again with the parent uh, parent uh, either the mother to son or son to mother of or of two 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 different breeds so that kind of uh, uh, crossing is being called as a cross breeding now uh, the, the the very much important aspect of breeding is the breeding up this actually the the system where we 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 upgrade we 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 we, we control we, we we improve the non descript breed and we we'll convert that breed into the into the discrete breed so here what we do we are crossing the breeds in six seven generation we have almost the 100% that that the that the pure breed we are having in front of us so what we do in f1 we have 50% then you know the 25% same male will we are using then then in the the same male same breed male we are using in the third generation fourth generation fifth generation or like that so ultimately at the seventh generation you know it's or in the sixth fifth to seventh generation we have more than 80% or 75% that blood is there of the, the, the breed which we have used to grading up or to upgrade the breed that that way it's a, it's a process of upgrading the upgrading the non descript animal it, it's a process of upgrading the non descript animal then then we have a we will we'll, we'll discuss about the economic traits they are very important all the, the traits all the, all, the, all the characters those who are very genetically actually they, they are being governed in the animals and they, they are of like that the birth weight that age of maturity to whom we are also calling the puberty then the age of first calving at what first at what age the the, the female gives young one that that and the gestational yield and dry periods intercalving period it's intercalving period means it's a, it's a period in between the two in consecutive calving one after another the intercalving period is longer it means the the loss is there so intercalving let us reduce the intercalving period as much as we can and we can reduce it up to 60 to 90 days that is ideal period if we, if we control or through this intercalving period we'll have a we will have a calf in a year so calf in a year if we, we are maintaining that that kind of that that breeding process that kind of breeding technology in a in a farm then it will be the better position for us so all these they are very important and uh, i i think that these these breeds are very important and because of this we will have a better better understanding about the about the about the about the productivity of the animals and through this we can understood that what is what, what is actually going on so these are the important things they they are they are very important and we 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 are following the same process of 